Yeah. But I feel like women are held more accountable by other women because you're a woman. Right, right. We expect men to do like that because they're raggedy. They bootlickers. We expect that. But you're a black woman at that. <laughs> Congratulations are in order for Sierra. Sierra. Uh, huh? uh, Why? <laughs> because I, I used to really like Sierra. I don't follow her on social media, but I think that she is a genuine person. And I love how she take care of her child, even though with a, with a BB day, like future girl, I would have had him buried somewhere. You understand me? But the fact that her and Chris Brown are just so buddy buddy, I can't get over oh. that. You're supposed to be a girl's girl. You're literally saying that no matter what this man does, that's still your brother. He is colorist. He clearly has a hand problem, mm -hmm. multiple allegations, and you're still being buddy buddy with him. That's nasty. Right. I think also... I think I think a lot of these artists just don't read the room. They don't. And they think that it's 2012 again because back in the day, you know, after his cancellation when he first hit Rihanna, people was working with Chris Brown. A lot of women right. artists were working with Chris Brown and it was the norm. But now it's a resurgence in his cancellation and people are now like coming for people that's working for him. I, I will say though, no one, like it's only the heat only gets directed when women work with him. Like, but Everybody else work with him and it's okay. Like I feel like the male male artist should get just as much as heat as as everybody because like when they came for Chloe and they came for now they recently came for Sierra. I mean, I, I mean you know I get it. Yeah, but I feel like women are held more accountable by other women because you're a woman. Right, right. We expect men to do shit like that because they're raggedy. They they fucking bootlickers. We expect that. But you're a black woman at that. You right. know exactly what the fuck we go through. You know what this man done did. Like, and he's yeah. still problematic. And he's a fucking drug addict. Yeah. Mm. But all the artists is really, really be defending him. Like, remember when Carrie, uh, Kelly Rowland was like, excuse me? That bitch. Like, <laughs> girl, what are you saying? Be quiet. Be quiet. You have, you have two I, sons. Would you want your son doing shit that he do? I so don't support him. I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. I do think that it's weird when black women, especially dark-skinned black women, go out of their way to defend him like Kelly Rowland. I thought that that shit was weird. But I just think it's also weird when y'all go out y'all way to, like, hold women who make... Like, okay, so, like, what about Halle Bailey? Like, or not her, Chloe. They came for her. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like Chloe is just trying... She's just trying to... You know, maintain relevancy. She just she's trying to keep up with her sister, and she's struggling at that. And so, yeah, it makes sense for her. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dan. Yeah, no, I, okay. <laughs> so it makes sense. I mean, she's just doing what she got to do. I don't think it's fair to be. Uh -uh. Like, You're not a girl's girl because, she, like, same thing with Normani. Like, some it's like, girl. Like, at the end of the day, me making music with this man benefits me. And y'all only y'all don't critique Wiz Kid, but I mean, I... they came for Doji too for doing that song with a uh, Kodak. Now I I didn't get that because I'm like, child, because he, he is he is a weird ooh. ass motherfucker. I can't. I'm reading Almighty Mac. I can't relate with this statement because of the fact that almost everyone has a person they live, they a person in their lives that we all know men in domestic violence situations yet still be cool with them or still hang around them. Um, oh, no, help me out. <laughs> yeah. That don't I mean, make it right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't make it right, but I'm just, you know. Um, but personal responsibility should be maintained as well. She chose that friendship. Now grow up and or be an apologist. I agree. Mm. <sighs> Speaking of accountability, yeah. I mean, I brought up Sierra. It's so funny because it just it's a perfect segue into the next topic and her trying to fight her sister. Should we do that? Should we talk about Krayshawn trying to fight her sister? Or should we just Yeah, and then go on to like the whole that yeah, she should have yeah. she should have killed that baby. 